What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's uh, scheme of the week video, we're going to focus on how to beat man coverage in Madden 25. Uh, and from this uh, Cleveland offensive playbook, we're going to be looking at this shotgun wide trips open. And the play we're going to be focused on is PA wide receiver in. I'll uh, just come out of two man under here. And basically, the, the hot route adjustments on this are we're going to put Jamal Charles on a wheel route and we're going to motion him to the left. And this is a uh, very effective concept for Madden, 20, uh, Madden 13. Uh, the first read is RB, it's going to beat man. Uh, right when it cuts up field and then also we now have a second read on this play with Charles coming out to the left here um, RB is not open here, so we'll look to Charles We're just gonna click on and use or catch that you have to use or catch Charles route. You do not have to use or catch uh, McCluster's route, so that's our two uh, that's our uh, first and second read our third read uh, is gonna be our tight end coming across uh, we're just going to look to playmaker him to the right uh, by using the L2 feature. Be sure to check out our video on how to playmaker him at N25 if you don't know how to do that. And then our third read, or our fourth read is going to be Donnie Avery coming across the middle of the field. Uh, typically, he'll be wide open against uh, man uh, coverage. Another thing you can do real quick if you want is you can put Anthony Fasano or your tight end in this situation on a zig route, and that will also that's going to beat man coverage. Uh, so you can use that hot route if you want, but I do like the drag playmaker option if I if you know just just to have it there if I need it. Um, and then our last read on this play is Dwayne Bow. That deep post route is very effective against man and zone coverages. With a pass lead to the inside, it's going to beat man and zone. But just know that it makes it takes a little bit of time. So be sure to mix in your wheel routes and your zigs and your uh, quick in routes to, to, to really uh, effectively move the ball downfield against man coverage. The next read, I the only other play I wanted to focus on from this is the halfback off tackle. Um, and basically, guys, what I use this uh, formation for is if I know they're running a lot of man and I want to just flat out demolish them uh, when they're in their man coverage, I'll just quick snap that PA play. Uh, it's very effective. A lot of people don't use it. And in my opinion, it's one of the better plays uh, in this year's game. A lot of people don't use it because it's, it's common and a lot of every, almost every playbook has it. But again, it's not about, you know, it's not about being cute. We're trying to have the best offense we can possible. And with this halfback off tackle mixed in with those um, with the PA wide receiver in, I think that this is formation that can really effectively attack man-to-man -man coverage. There's no need for anything else. Um, obviously, if you want to, uh, some other plays we can use out of this is the quick pass out of stick. Nothing really special in that. But for verticals, we have that angled streak. And so what I'll do is I'll motion Fasano to the left here to use that corner out to my advantage. And basically, I'll just run a, uh, a, a smash concept on the left. So I'll put Avery on a smoke screen, Jamal Charles on a streak, and they're going to intercourt or intersect there. And then I'll put Dwayne Bow. What I've been doing a lot of is putting him on a comeback. And this is just a very simple route combination we can use. Our first read is if they're in two men under. And if they are, we're going to uh, just lob up. Uh, we're not going to – not right there. That I did it wrong there. But um, basically, and I need to be a little bit far back. But if you're, if you're you know, from the 40-yard line on in um, – it's going to be very effective to use this, what I'm going to show you today. And I've showed it before. Uh, it's something I've been doing a lot this season. Is uh, just lobbing that RB route once the light path, once the icon lights up. So wait, 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 wait. Icon lights up and just lob it. And now it's just a one-on-one. -on -one, uh, try to use or catch it. Um, there are also times, and it's not, not specifically from this formation. It's actually from the Giants. Um, good normal wing New York that I really like it from. And it's just a basic, it's the same route that he's on, and, but it beats man a little bit better for some reason. It may just be the formation. But right there you see he lights up, and then I can, I can try to get it over the top. Uh, you don't want to bullet it, and that's exactly why right there you'll throw interceptions 95% of the time. Um, there is that 5% where he'll just beat him. But once again, remember, we're trying to get consistency here. Um, if you just lob it when he lights up. So right there, he lights up. I lobbed it over top. And there you see the user catch there. So something to mix in. Uh, it's not an in-all be-all. But remember, you have other reads. So that's probably my latest read on this play. Um, my first read is going to be the smoke screen on the left. Here we see that's covered. But you see that that post route, is, it's, a, it's not as good separation as I would like it to be. So what I have to do is I have to click on and user catch that. That's why I don't use this play a whole lot. Uh, it's just kind of something that if I want to change it up from this look, I'll use. Third read on this play is going to be Jamal Charles out of the backfield. Um, basically, when he lights up, you're just going to lob it over top. I love lobbing the ball over top against two men under, especially with the running back this year. And then the last read is our... Uh, comeback route 
typically I'll, I'll look I'll just look at that and when he snaps back he's gonna beat man coverage comeback rates are very simple this year but are very effective against man and zone coverages and so it's always good to use uh, comebacks in my opinion and then once again the timing is gonna work itself out so we look left no 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 and then now RB is lit up and we'll just lob over top and use these use that play guys I'm telling you, um, you if they if they lack their coverage or they don't have um, you know three man three some two sometimes three guys deep uh, it'll be wide open uh, here we're gonna look at it again and just just it's very hard. I mean, you're seeing here he's kind of running with him. It's, it's partially because the formation is so spread out. But if they if they do something like this, so maybe maybe they like to use her. Um, maybe they like to use her their strong safety or something. Well, if they're using him into a hook zone or, or something like that, and then maybe they're adjusting over here for the corner route. They have, uh, and then they're going to put Barry over here, and they're going to you know try to maybe watch the middle or something with the running back route. Well, when they do that, what that's going to allow us to do is when we motion across, the route never will get covered by man-to-man. -man. You cannot stop McCluster one-on-one. -on -one. You have to have that safety help over top. So here, when he lights up, we just lob it over the top. And with McCluster's really quick speed, you're going to get that separation. So thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. If you don't like this type of content, I have a lot of other content on my channel that may be beneficial to you. And thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to come back later on in the day where we break down on our base man coverage uh, on defense and show you guys how to really lock up some of the better offenses in this game by just using a simple two-man under basic man coverage. And then also uh, be sure to come back tomorrow where we break down uh, our base running set out of this um, playbook. Remember, we're in the Cleveland Browns offensive playbook. Thanks for watching today, guys. See you later.